I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Are you? Is it because it's retro replay? Red Dead time? Pick some time and Flitz gonna hear it out. Bourbon Spray! That was for Sweden. <laughs> Hey everybody, Nolan North, Troy Baker, he's burping, this is Retro burp. Replay. What are you doing? What is this? I'm excited, this is why I have to burp. Really? Oh, it's like right here. I want to hear it. I want to I want watch you I can't. Do We it. got a letter. We got... I want to watch you burp. <laughs> I want to Hey it. guys! That's us. I hope you like the shirts, parentheses. Also hoping to see you rock them in a future episode, yep. Winky Face. Okay. When I asked Drew if he was interested in one, Name he, rings said, a bell. he said not to spend dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign on him. I didn't know he could read. You're not mm. the boss of me, Drew. We are. If I couldn't interest you in a shirt, I figured I had to come up with something else. Since the guys have their fan-made mugs, at Sketchlar, I thought you should have one too. I hope you dig it. You okay. got a mug? Here it is. Ready? Bing. Wow. Poof. That's magic. You see that? That's pretty genius. Yeah. Uh, soup. Retro replays condensed Drew's soup. Ew. Ew. <laughs> now I hate it. <laughs> oh. Don't drink out of that. Oh. This happens to be package oh. one of two. So hopefully package two arrived at the same time. Drew's soup? Mm-mm. It contains two Ghost and Goblins art prints I made in reference to the no shame is the night lyrics. I was thinking you guys could perhaps use, see, 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 see. use one as a set decoration and the other one you could sign for another giveaway. Oh, no way. Dude, check this out. Seamus the Knight is throwing daggers, trying to get his girlfriend back, but the zombies, they won't let him. And I'm naked. That's amazing. That is really cool. If you would, or if you do, would it be in poor taste to enter the giveaway myself? Yes. Serious question. If for some reason you can't use it for a giveaway, I'm sure you'll figure something else Maybe out. Maybe we should just... I did he... Did, did he did you better... We could put his... We could no, sign this is what's funny. Does he have a I didn't realize this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there it is. There oh it my is. God. There it is. This is this it's is right uh, there. Lambzilla. It's like baloney and feet. Lambzilla. Hmm? In the chat every week. Lambzilla. We always talk about it in Lambzilla. It's Chad. Lambzilla's Chad? Is Chad Liga. Lambzilla. Awesome watching the show and chatting with you guys Sheepzilla. each week. Lambzilla. Hopefully I'm able to go to the live show if you're ever in my area. Where is my area? It, lo- it sounds like it's close to elsewhere. It's close to Uranus, oh, Anus. Oh, yes. If you're ever in my area. I used to summer in my area. Where my area. I don't know where Lambzilla is. I don't know. Do we have, Do we have Drew, an address? Drew probably has Keep it. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see what you guys have in store for the hashtag retro replay merch. You see what oh, he did? Oh, I get have it. Have in store for the retro replay merch. All the best. Scribble, scribble. Chad Liga. Chad Liga. Chad Liga. Chad Liga. Also known as at Lambzilla. Chad Liga. La Liga. And he said, He's a big fun. Some games to look into. Battletech, okay. Sega Genesis, yes. Boogerman, Sega Genesis, nice. Deep Cut. Mad Dog McCree, Arcade. Mad Dog 2020. First time I ever threw up drinking. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. No, no, no. no. We are done with basketball games and... Basketball yeah. players and games. The tie-in, the tie-in's t- tough with that. It's kind of, it tie-ins. seems like a bit of a cash grab. It's like, yo, yo, I'm going to kick some guy in the face. It's terrible, I know, but I just like it. I think it's fine. It, somebody said, sounds like he's trying to do Elvis. Let me tell you something, mama. I have, well, this is the next song from my good friend, Colonel Thomas Parker. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to dunk this basketball. They were not good friends. They <laughs> were not. He, he rubbed him blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You said to play with me? Yes. Let's play two player game. Let's play. Okay, let's go. Two players. Start. Balloon trip. Oh, I'm red. I'm the red balloons. Look at you. You got blue balls. I mean, he's got blue balls. Why, why would you do that to me? Oh, we're not playing together? I see. I, I see. I see. Oh, so that's how it works, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Why, why, why are you tight? Here you go. Oh. Uh, so what's the benefit of? Uh, so we actually are we playing? Ah! So we're playing against each other. 
So that's why I would do that to you? I would. Did just, you do that to me? I think so. I didn't really mean to. But man, I think I did. Oh, I see. If you have less balloons. Well, you know, it's like kamikaze. It was like murder suicide. It was just like a doomed emo relationship. We just listened to Elliot Smith and just went out together. It was terrible. <laughs> Elliot Smith. All right. That was bad. Yeah, man. Elliot Smith. Look at this guy. Look at. I want to get him. Oh, fan. I got him before he. Am I guess? You got to get him before they pump up Ooh. their balloons. Man, I am staying high. That's the qu. Come on, get down there, boy. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh, well, oh, there I go. And I went for a swim. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I have mm -mm, strong balloon life. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, where are you? Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch! That's how the game's played! Uh, Don't hate the player, hate the game. I hate both. Oh, wow. Can I do game over? Can I do game over? I would like to do some... Look, look at this clown. Come on. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at me. I don't oh, know what to do. What am I supposed to do? You dickhole. Am I supposed to go? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is before Mario. Okay. Oh, it's like okay. Galaga and Mario. Okay. 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 I gotta get you back to. I am gonna ignore the ones on the left. I get to the left. I wanna get you. 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 Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Look, it's like the slowest sperm ever. Just. Green sperm, it's like little tadpoles. Well, what can we learn about this game? First of all, Drew, you're wrong. It's 1984, not 1986. So all of your things are wrong. What? Drew's never wrong. Oh, look, all of this. This is 1980. It's clearly on the t on the start screen. It's Don't look it up. It's 1984. We just saw it, and all of his t all of his facts are from 1986. Uh, I remember 1986. I love that Howard the Duck was one of his seminal things that happened in 1986. You know what? Followed by, you he said, leads said, off with Howard the Duck. You said seminal. Mm. Followed by Chernobyl and then the Space Shuttle Challenger. Well, Howard the Duck was only slightly worse than Chernobyl. That's it. No more Mr. Oh. Nice Duck. That's a radiation joke. Uh, uh, do you remember where you were for the Challenger? Yes, I do. Where were you? I was in school. So was um, I. Pause. Uh, that was a big deal. Fifth uh, grade. For, you were seventh grade? <clears throat> Tenth grade. No. Challenger? 86. I was a sophomore in high school. I was, I was in fifth grade. <laughs> Go on. I was a sophomore in high school. Uh, it was lunch, actually. and I, I was at lunch, too. Yeah, because it was a lunchtime thing. And this was on the East Coast. I was one hour behind you. So, um, uh, but I remember they wheeled in, you know, the, everybody used to have the, the flat screens. They had these big tube TVs, yeah. and they, they rolled wheeled it in. in. So everybody could watch, and we're all eating. And, you know, I mean, it blew up. It was horrible. And everybody's watching on. What? My friends Everyone's and I, just like, what's happening? And the teachers were like. Including Nancy Reagan. Do you remember that? Nancy Reagan applauding because she thought it was part of the spectacle. It was terrible. Um, she, yeah. Yeah. But, she, but, you know, nobody knew. And nobody I'm, knew. I just remember that they sent us home. I mean, they were like, this is a national tragedy. This is a national tragedy. tragedy. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was hard because it was uh, Krista McAuliffe. Krista was a teacher, teacher from oh, New England. No way. That was a groundbreaking it, thing because it was a private citizen. And I remember the most horrible part. This first teacher. She was a teacher. Thing. First, te yeah, teacher. But um, one of the First females to go into space, I believe. Drew's probably just going crazy right now with all the texts of how we're wrong. But I don't know about the first female. Not not the not, not the first first private citizen. Though. First private citizen and her class was watching. Um Krista but my friend yeah. and I, Robbie Metcalf, <clears throat> were we he and I were obsessed with figuring out what happened. And we had like a schematic, a blueprint of the challenger. In his room, and we we would like sit there and go, "This must have happened." And you see the really, design. yeah. I don't know why we were. Wow, we you were, were way smarter than we were. No, because I mean, I was with my buddy Frankie Demont. We were going like, to figure out, dude. There was probably a fire. And <laughs> hey, the funny thing is, that's exactly what it was. It was a fire. There was a like a, a fire in one of the the chambers that. that well, we breached the <laughs> compromised it. one of our conspiracy. Wait a minute. What am I? What by the way? What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's ask the expert. Well. What if happened? you uh, if you notice, uh, 
one, there was a uh, next. The the fuel lines were extremely close to something else that was that was horribly combustible. We thought it was a design flaw. I mean, it, something stupid happened. Like they could have been like rubbing their fifth shoes grade, right? Me. Yeah, I, but I don't. You're, did you read a lot of uh, Encyclopedia Brown? Brown? Absolutely, I did. Are you kidding me? I read every Encyclopedia Brown and kids. <sighs> Here's one from Uncle Nolan. Go get yourself a little Encyclopedia Brown. And move up to Sherlock Holmes. Read it with no pants. Mm -mm. No. It's free. Put your pants on. Opening. You Especially should, if you're at the no, library. Don't use opening and no pants. And when someone goes, put your pants on, you go, shh. I'm reading Sherlock. Have some respect. You're in a library. <laughs> and then you know what to do. I don't have to wear pants, sir. I'm reading Sherlock Holmes. That... Is Sir an upside Basil down Rathbone comic book himself. Okay. <laughs> and then just walk it. Are you ready for this? Oh, hold on, hold on. There it yep. is. Um. <laughs> so we go to uh, Big Bear. Oh, right, right, right. For Thanksgiving, right. Pam and Tyler stay back at the house. And I go down the mountain, and I go to the, the, the Vons there. That's the only grocery store you can shop at. Okay. And I get up, I, I load up, because I want to go, I want to go there once. I walk in, and I have, I have a, a wad of cash, because I'm going to pay for groceries in cash. Right. As, as any upstanding criminal does. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can't trace that stuff. <clears throat> I go do my shopping, and I've got a, just a, a basket full of, of, of atrocities and just bad decisions. I've got Traveler on the baby monitor, and I and I can't see him, and I, Pam's not answering, and I'm kind of panicking a little bit. I'm sure everything is fine, but as a dad, you're just like, they've been eaten by they, bears! <laughs> <laughs> that was wolves instead of bears, but wolves. Um, somehow wolves were smart enough to like pick the lock and go into the house. Bears just go right through though. <laughs> the bears are, Yeah, just go right through the window. So I'm sitting there, and I, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, and I'm panicking a little bit, and I go to reach in the pocket, and there's no money. There's no money. And so the guy's like, it's... Was this like a dream? <laughs> this sounds like a dream. I have all these things. There's no money. My baby's gone. <laughs> Wolves. See, uh, this, it felt like it was a night. And okay. I am... If, if I haul ass, I'm eight minutes from, from them. Okay, because I got to get up the mountain. I'm hoping she's alive. I haul ass, walk in. Everything's fine. And then I tell her. And she's mad at me. I was like, I lost the cash. She's like, what? I was like, I thought you were dead. That whole thing happens. It gets better. I, I, I look over at the, the lady who's uh, back up the groceries and everything. I said, look, this is, this is a ridiculous request. Um, I came in here with a, with a lot of cash, and uh, I, I don't have it anymore. I'm sure it's not going to turn up. But if for some strange reason it does, she's like, I'm, how much was it? I told her. And she's like, oh, I'm like, I know. She goes, I, we sweep every 15 minutes. Um, I was like, it's probably gone, but just on the off chance, I don't want to make a big thing about it because people could come and say, yeah, right. I lost money too. She says, we'll let you know. So we ended up having to go back down to the store the next day. And I go in and I see the woman who was there last night. Oh, I'm sorry, I saw the, the, the guy, Paul, who was a checker. Um, yeah. And I was like, hey, Paul, I don't suppose he goes, oh, you came back. I was like, yeah, he goes, we found it. I was like, no way. Are you, it gets better. There was, was like, more there he, than when you left. He said, Literally, you were pulling out of the parking lot, and we found it. And I said, how? It's like $700. But come here, I, 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 you know, one of Dana is the, the manager that was there, and, and she'll tell you the story. Then she kind of, you know, hands the money back. I was like, who did this? She was like, well. And she <clears> said, <throat> but he left his number. And she said, I hope this fine, you know, comes back to his owner. And I look on the little post-it note. Jim Carrey. Shut up. I, I shit you not. And I was like, are you sure? She was like, I had to look at him twice, but he looked a little bit different, but he said, somebody dropped this. Jim Carrey returned a wad of cash to me. Well, we should call him. I know, I looked at him, I was like, what's that number? <laughs> it was a New York number. Let me tell you something. Let's say you charged $700. <laughs> I wouldn't give it back to you. Uh, I know you wouldn't. If you'd been walking behind me, I would've been like, you see me drop some money? I know. Like, I did some high-end bourbon. I'd be like, <laughs> nope. Thank you, Mr. Baker. <laughs>
Oh my god. I would god. let you drink some of that bourbon <laughs> that you Thank bought. You. It's like, this tastes like my money. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like guilt. But not Woo. much guilt. It's defeated. Oh. Jeez, did you see that? What happened? Hey, wait, I'm playing. Oh, hold on, I got, oh, I got you, a you Hold on, hold on, watch this. Watch the guy floating down. I'm just gonna land for a second. Oh no, he's gonna land. When he went in the water, go go, go knock him off. Oh, you're, you're trying to knock I me off. I didn't mean to do this. You're a dickhole. You you're a dickhole. Oh, yeah, you're good. a dickhole. I'm finally oh. good at something? Eat me. You beat the shit out of me in every- Watch this! Watch the guy in the water! Watch what happens! Right. Oh! He gets eaten by a fish? It's like Jonah and the whale. He gets eaten by the fish. I enjoy whales eating purples. He gets eaten by the fish. Uh, the, I like to eat the fish. I like to you eat the fish. You remember that when we did that? We like committed to that. That was in Burger Time. That was the best part uh, of Burger Time was actually eating the, burgers. There wasn't a, oh shit, that Oof. thing almost ate me. I'm making fish jokes and they're all of a sudden like, look on. There you are making fish jokes. Fish mm -mm. jokes, guys! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Have yourself a fish joke. And it's really hard to do with one balloon! Oh mm, my god. Are we on level three? Dang it, Drew. I actually like this. I like The that. guy gets his own. Oh, I'm just gonna pop that the guy. The guy gets balloon. his own. It's like, wow, I don't mean to burst your balloon. I don't that's not <clears throat> open. Game over again. You're such a mouth breather. I like how they, they just go into this this slow little drop. Of like sadness when they look at him. Look at him. Just, well, that's oh. a parachute. Meh, poor me. Meh. I like to get the bubble. Oh, I see what you're saying. They get reincarnated into a bubble. Yeah, but you you you, you got crushed. Oh, oh. That. The background looks like light bright. Light. Bright. Holy shit! No! Light. Oh, oh he ate me. That's awesome. Turn on the magic of colored lights. Light bright. Light bright. Turn on the magic of colored lights. Did you have a light bright? It was a rich kid toy. It was not. I had one. I did. Maybe that's what Wait, just my parents I, told me. Did I steal it from my friend? <laughs> did you? <gasps> Have you ever stolen anything? Just the ladies' hearts. I hate to break it to you, but uh, they all told me they liked me a lot better. Yeah, I know. I paid them to say that. Uh, uh, you wanna... And one waiter in Manhattan. How are you, Todd? Um, no, I... Um... This is a sad... I have a sad story. Like, no, I, I don't. I stole. Do you know that like when you buy a picture frame? Anything. Yeah. And it comes like with a picture in it. So you look, hey, this is what your picture is going to look like in this the frame. There was a cute girl. <laughs> and so I took Did you picture. see that face? That was me going, <laughs> I know where this is going. This is going. And I put that into my wallet and that was Michelle. <laughs> that was like That's... my girlfriend. Okay, but by the way, as a lonely teenager, that's genius. Oh, Where's yeah. Michelle? She's an exchange student. Except for the fact that it had like writing on it. It's like, you know, three by And five. she's 24. <laughs> yeah, you're like, dang, dude, you date older chicks. She's like, she's in an apartment. <laughs> she's in an apartment. Go Sorry. ahead, go ahead. Imagine if you just expand that. That's my girlfriend. And then, then you find another picture of her and, and, like, and you Photoshop your face like, oh, this, we got married. And you have this whole kidding. life. And then there's kids and everything. And just and imagine this sad house of just all these frames of pictures. That, just, that's my uncle Ray and Aunt Joni. Ray and Joni, they are cards. Look at them. They love horses. We, you just think, we go to Mexico every summer together. There, there we are on the beach. And uh, there's that one guy going, these are all at Michael's <laughs> store. Speaking of Michael's. Okay, let's go. Um, in fifth grade, um, man, Susan Vaughn. <gasps> How'd you pull that one up? How do I remember this? Susan Vaughn. Um, there was Susan Vaughn and Susan Skinner. I ended up dating Susan Skinner years later, but Susan Vaughn <laughs> was my Skinner. crush. Robbie Metcalf's stepsister, the okay. guy with the challenger. Are you Let's tracking call with me? That. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Susan Vaughn, for an entire week, I went to at the at the time there were these little like bear teddy bear charms that were super in. And you like wanted to, girls like wanted to collect them. They could put them every like put them on their shirts or whatever blouse, whatever they call them. I went to hey, my you, know you know what's a hot pin right now? What? Retro replay pin. Show it, Drew. It's available at stores, mm. so get yours now. At one store, our store. Our store. Go ahead. Teddy bear charms and dangle rings were like really big. So it was like a little ring with a little charm on it. And they were like a buck each or whatever. It seems like a hazard, but go ahead. Surely. 
So every day, Monday through Friday, I got to school early, got to class early, and I walked in on Susan Vaughn's desk, and I put a little teddy bear with the little dangle ring around it, and I said, from your secret admirer. And then I would sit in class, and she's like, oh my God, who is this? And I watched, she's like, oh, I wonder who it is, I wonder if it's, and never was like, I hope this is Troy Baker that's <laughs> doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, Friday, I went all out, teddy bear, dangle ring, big heart sucker, and I said, from your secret admirer. That's a lollipop for people who aren't filthy. Yeah. And she was like, I've got to know who this is. And I walked up and I said, it's me. She was immediately disappointed. Oh. Yeah. I was, I was heartbroken. But. And then she took that sucker and she goes, oh, this is what you're missing. No. Oh. She was a good girl. You're never going to be with me. <laughs> no, even though I can do this. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. That would be. Uh, that would have made your dream. Oh, like, oh. I just dreamed of color bars coming up across <laughs> our screen. Uh, uh, woo. Yeah, but that was me. Uh, I, I what was, was your name? Susan. Oh, that bitch. How could she break a kid's heart like that? She was so cute. She was like blonde hair. Do you know what's curly blonde hair? Lisa Simmons. If she watches, Isn't that crazy? she might not. Why How would old? she? I was in third grade. Whoa. Okay. That's I a deep this, cut. Oh, I had a I had a crush on Lisa Simmons. And here's the crazy thing. So, years, years later, we moved college, everything. Years, I got on <laughs> Port Charles. <gasps> and I got a fan letter from her, no! from her and her mom saying congratulations. It's Are so you great. still single? Uh, no, <laughs> nothing like that. It was it was actually really sweet. I was like, wow. They, 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 they I guess they always watch General Hospital, and our show was a spinoff. So right. it was so cool that, that they, they it's like just even remembered me. But it was like so I was the third grade one who got away. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I had such a crush on her, she, and she was so cool. She was my friend. The third grade, it's like your friend, but she's really really pretty too. So it was she was. Um, I think probably my first crush, probably third grade. Third like grade? That. I mean, if not, geez, you really started young. Well, my first crush, first of crush course, first was first grade. My mother, she's a beautiful <laughs> woman. She would make pasta. Mother, I love you. Topless. It was beautiful. No. With the big areoles. And then no. The, you, know when, you know when you're just... Like the, the, Genoa when Salami. The, like when the gravy is, is, is just sort of, just kind of muddling together. It pop up and she go, ah, ah, but she let it burn a little. Uh, the best sauce you ever had. She put it on fettuccine, a little penne, and sometimes there'd be some meat sauce in there. No Alfredo. That's dirty. That's wrong. Oh my God. Balloon <laughs> fight. Balloon fight. If, and if you play this upside down, it looks like they're flying on nuts. That's, that's my takeaway from this game. Please get me out of this game. Get me out of this episode. No. What do we play uh. next? You know, I'll tell you what we play next. We play, burst your balloon! Or the fish will eat your face, fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling randy today. Uh -huh.